subscribe. Hi everybody and welcome back. My name's Alison, the Unknown Piano and the Unknown Violin Tutor. Today I'm just going to have a quick chat about uh, chin rests with you. Um, the chin rest that I've got is this one. I'll try and zoom you in a little bit closer. Um, the chin rest I've got here is is got like a crisscross kind of uh, pattern to it on here. But the reason why I like it is because it's a very, very thin and it's a very comfortable chin rest. Um, I honestly can't remember what video it was that I, I did, but I actually showed, I think it was one of my 10 lesson videos. It might have been video three or four. I don't know, whatever it is, I can't remember. And I mentioned about the chin rest. And a lot of you, when you buy beginner violins, the chin rest that you get can be very, very thin and they can poke right up in, into your chin which can actually be really really uncomfortable so I mentioned about this but I actually couldn't find the link to where to buy um, my my chin rest it just I think I did found it once and then one of my students bought one it was great um, and then it just kind of disappeared off the internet however I have managed to find a link um, it was very difficult to get hold of but I've managed to find a link and I've managed to find it because there isn't a name on the chin rest so I, I did take it off and I couldn't find anything on it it was just just said it was made in Germany or something which didn't particularly help but I have found a link to it the link to where you can buy it is in the description bar underneath um, I've got a UK link and um, a US link as well if you live um, if you live in, in neither of those two places um, so this is my chin rest here and it's very very thick uh, very very thin so it's not it's not a thick violin so I find it very comfortable um, I've had this chin rest with me for years and years and years and when I actually upgraded and bought this violin a few years ago um, when I bought this violin from Woodbridge violins in Suffolk um, it had a different chin rest on it so I took that one off and put this one from my my old violin that I got rid of onto this one so I could keep this so I could keep the chin rest um, with me because it's really really nice it's really comfortable and I like it it's not too big it's not too small it doesn't sit over the towel piece or anything like that um it's a shame because I haven't got any other chin rests I have um I have got some other chin I was going to say that I I couldn't compare it to any other chin rests I haven't got any to show you but I'm telling complete porky pies to you all I have got some chin rests to show you so I'll go and get them and I'll be right back okay, so here I have my Ted Brewer electric violin and my actual violin with a crisscross chin rest. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to see much of this. There's not a huge amount of difference. I think this, the electric violin just tends to be, seems like it's a little bit thicker. Um, this one is actually quite comfortable, believe it or not. That's why I haven't really bothered to, to change it. I suppose I could if I really wanted to, but it's actually quite comfortable because of the whole, the way the whole thing is anyway. So it's not, it's not too thick and it's not too bulky. And um, I think, well, it's, it, these aren't cheap instruments to buy anyway, so generally when you buy something a little bit more expensive, it won't come with a big fat clunky chin rest or anything like that. So this isn't too bad, but it is still a little bit thicker than, than the chin rest that I've got on this violin here. This here is my Stentor 2 violin that I recommend to all my students because I think it's a brilliant student quality violin. Now I don't like the chin rest on this one I have to say but again you know reflecting the price of this it's you know, you, you get what you're given for the price of the, the, the violin you know you can't have it all for, for that kind of money. But it is a lot thicker as you can see and it is a lot more uncomfortable in my opinion because this is a lot a lot thicker and a lot sort of bulkier than this one this sort of tends to be a lot kind of I don't know it just tends to be a lot more delicate looking whereas this one's a little bit more kind of thicker and clunkier looking and I, I think it's sort of this part here that tends to sort of jab into the old chin which isn't so comfortable so this chin rest isn't very much money at all it's it's like five or six pounds something something like that it's under 10 pounds or under 10 dollars anyway so for the sake of a few few quid or the sake of a few dollars it's worth getting this this chin rest um i will show you how to change a chin rest in another video um but i just wanted to show you all that i'd found the link to this this chin rest it is very very good good value um i recommend going out and going going to buy it anyway if it's the one thing that you can actually change on your violin that's going to make it comfortable honestly it just makes all the difference the last thing you need is something jabbing up into your chin so there we are this is the um the the crisscross chin rest whatever you want to call it um yeah and i hope it's all nice for you subscribe